Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video on how to install a MySQL server, uh, Apache server, and PHP MyAdmin with uh, uh, PHP uh, running on the Apache with just two commands and using Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu is a Linux based operating system which is in my eyes really good and it's free and you can download it from ubuntu.com click on the download link select what type of uh, system you want whether you want desktop or server system now server you don't get a graphical user interface you just get uh, a text command line um, thing um, and there's a lot less on it but you can install everything from scratch but you can install uh, a graphical user interface if you wish but for this demonstration I'm just using Ubuntu desktop because that's what I'm running at the moment so download Ubuntu for desktop currently have two versions you can either choose Ubuntu 12.10 which is the latest cutting edge version which came out in October this year or you can run the long term support version which has support for five years if you don't know what operating si uh, system you're running whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit uh, it gives you the option here to choose 32 or 64 likewise for the Ubuntu 12.04 when you're happy with what you, what you want you click on get Ubuntu here you can do donations if you so wish but again the operating system is free so you can just click take me to the download when you come here download the ISO and stick it onto a disk and install it on your system thus completely wiping out Windows XP because it's old and it's going out of date and if you don't want Windows 8 get Ubuntu it's better by far okay no viruses nothing and it's completely free and you don't need to buy a new computer with that silly touch screen anyway let's uh, cancel that right I'm gonna get loads of posts about uh, you don't accept change yes I do I have a, an iPad I have touch screen devices and things like that desktop is desktop okay if you want a toy buy a Mac okay right so that that's that part now this is a command uh, line screen called a terminal a terminal allows you to do lots of things very very quickly so here we go two commands set up a whole system no time at all don't need to download nothing the operating system does it all for us so how do we get that information I'm going to show you there's no secrets here type in help.ubuntu.com here is the Ubuntu's official documentation on how to use their operating systems there's the Ubuntu 12.10 that I've got that's for desktop help as you can see here but I want a server guide because I want to install a service from the databases and I want to install MySQL here is an easy to read easy to use guide on how to install MySQL server on the Ubuntu Linux system. Here's a command that we need to type into the terminal. Let's go over to here. I'm going to paste in that command sudo apt get install MySQL dash server. Press the enter key. 
shows the packages which will be installed on your system. Do you want to accept them? Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. We need to set a password for our MySQL package. We need to repeat that password. It will then continue to install all of the files for the MySQL server. Easy so far. And it doesn't get any harder than this. Anyone can do it. Okay. That's the MySQL server installed. Or is it? Well, if we look here. MySQL server has started running on this process ID. But just to be sure, let's go back to our documentation. Check whether the MySQL server is running. Let's pop in this command. What do we expect to see when we run this command? Well, we expect to see this. That's what we want to see. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's what we got. That's what we wanted to see. Obviously, it's on a different uh, process ID. If it's not running correctly, we can stop the service and we can restart it. This is how to stop your MySQL service and how to restart it. It stops and it starts on a different process ID. MySQL server is installed and running. If you want to configure it for a lo your local area network, you need to, need to change the bind address in this file here. So let's just demonstrate that. So if I type in sudo, which is an administrator, it means to say I want to run an administrator command, and then type nano, which is a text-based editor within my terminal window and then paste in what I've just copied off of the website. If I then scroll down using the arrow keys and look for the word bind address. There's bind address and the IP address is 127.0.0.1 which is for local only. Now if I want to push this out to my local area network I need to change this to a local area network ID or IP should I say so let's do this I've opened up a new terminal window and I'm going to type in if config now if config will show me my IP address if you're using Windows you would know that IP config will show the IP address of a Windows based computer I'm using a wireless network on my ether ethernet this is my IP address so let's copy my IP address but you copy the IP address of the server where my SQL server is running and then paste oops, and then paste that in there or you can type it in now control and X if I exit 
it will ask if I want to save the changes I just say yes and then press enter now I need to restart my service again because it's saying when you modify it you need to restart the service again there it is it's running now if I need to change my root password I will run this command okay need to reconfigure the server press enter there we are familiar screen see it on startup let's change our password done stops the server restarts the server with the new password okay MySQL server is now running wonderful so let's clear this now let's install PHP MyAdmin so we do uh, sudo apt get install php my admin and we can get this information from the official documentation ubuntu server guide lamp applications php my admin installation there it is so we want to run that command to install php my admin press enter it will automatically install um, some common uh, Apache 2 files and PHP 5 files so just before I do that let me wipe this out and just put localhost unable to connect that tells me that Apache 2.2 is not running so if I type yes it then asks me choose the web server that should automatically um, be configured to run PHP my admin the web server to reconfigure automatically will be Apache 2 if you're using Ubuntu 12.04 or above I always suggest to use Apache 2 anything uh, less than 10.04 uh, like to the two year old package then you could use the light T TPD but uh, by default use Apache 2 so to select it press the space bar and then you'll get this little star appear and then press OK that will then continue to install all the packages to support PHP my admin. There's no downloading required when installing packages on Ubuntu. Or no manual downloading, should I say? Well, it doesn't have to be. Okay, once that's uh, started up, we need to then set a password to log into PHP My Admin. So if we just say yes, and then set a password, and press OK, and then we need to put the password of the MySQL application in there, which is your MySQL server password and then sorry the first one was your MySQL server password this one is for PHP my admin done 
how do we test this let's go over to our web browser just type in localhost that shows me that Apache is up and running if I put slash php my admin there's php my admin put in the username which is root make sure it's in lowercase if I put it in uppercase and try and put a password in it says cannot log into the server so make sure the caps lock is off and type in root and then put in the password of your mysql uh, php my admin password click go and here we are here is php my admin and we can go to databases this is a test gosh set up a database over there put tables in there I haven't met in any columns ok so we can have column first name user id auto increment customer uh, customer name set it as a bar chart and here we can put certificate and I'm going to put in here um, blob and there's a reason why I've called that blob because my part 2 video is going to connect to this MySQL server using LibreOffice Base and then I'm going to produce a simple database which will show you how to import um, image based certificates and store them in a database I hope you found this useful uh, if you have any questions comment below or email me directly and please feel free to subscribe to my channel pass on the information to friends and family and just tick on the little happy thumbs up thanks very much for watching join me in part 2